up one of the broken drawers. Rose uses a fingerprint movement sequence to remove the heel of her boot. She slides it off and pops the flat knob into the hole in her shoe. Perfect. That's a practical. I have to write which one's practical and which one needs visual effects. None of it, none of that needs visual effects. Rose turns, takes a final look at the cabin she once called home, closing the door behind her, tightens the straps of her bag, and scans as she walks, watching the monitor to see how many yards she is from any tracking device in the forest. Her boots crunch, the leaves as she treks through the vast forest. Okay, next kind of scene. That was like the first kind of scene. This is exterior country road, late afternoon. Rose walks down a quiet country road. It's cloudy. She's carrying a large backpack, eyes fixed on the ground. She looks discouraged and lost. She hears a car approaching from behind. Rose turns around. A glimpse of hope sparks in her eyes. She sticks out her thumb. The car pulls over a few yards in front of her on the side of the road. There's a mother and her teenage daughter in the car. The teenage daughter is zoned out. Her eyelids, no eyeballs, no eyelids. We're only on page two. This is gonna take me forever to read. I'm actually not the best reader. But thank you for listening because I don't know, sometimes like last night I was just reading this out loud to myself and then I realized, oh, I could read it out loud and then maybe people could give me suggestions and you guys can be part of this script writing process or editing process. How many pages? 90. I'm on page two. I take a really long time to read, so bear with me. Diving back in. Her eyeballs are lit up. Like, kind of like contact lenses. You're doing great. Oh, you're a gem. Thank you. I used to stutter when I was a kid. As she uses optics, which is like optics or it's like this contact that's like Google glasses that's almost like this VR world where you can use all your social media and everything. Like your phone and your eyeballs. Using optics that turn her vision into an interactive interface. There you go. Mother. Hey, where are you headed? Rose, trying to get to the city. Mother, that's where we're going to. Hop in, interior, car, bay. Rose settles into the back seat. The girl's optics turn off. She takes out an earphone, yelling at her mom. What's going on? I'm just giving this lady a ride. Keep it down, will ya? Just say, no, will, no, okay. Will ya? Will ya's ruder than okay. Keep it down, okay? Keep it down, will ya? Which one's better, will ya or okay? She's a rude kid. Uh, girl takes a quick look at Rose and then immediately turns on her optics and zones out again. One, keep it down, okay? Okay, that's what I changed it to. I wrote okay. Or else, ooh, or else, or else is really intimidating. Oh, damn it, I can't say damn it. I'm not allowed to say any swear words. I said shit and bullshit and, uh, and or it was written, I didn't write that. Um, that was the original submission. So it's a Christian film actually, but it's um, very controversial, it's like, it's almost like a conspiracy theorist wrote this. <laughs> so you guys are going to like it if you think freely. Okay. Okay. The girl takes a quick look at Rose and then immediately turns on her optics and zones out again. The woman looks back at Rose. It's downtown, okay? Oh, what she says, okay, it's good. Wait, leave it. Check it out. 
something came up on me. Montana, thank you for feeding me. Little Big Rock, thank you. Okay, let's keep, keep it going. Is downtown okay? Yeah, that's perfect. Rose takes her phone out of her pocket and sends a text message to Sam. Hey, I'll make it on time. See you at the cafe at seven. Driving montage. Driving down a beautiful country road. Initially, initially they're driving down a beautiful country road. That's true. As they get to the city, it gets darker. Rose has her head leaned against the window. They pass through a long street full of homeless people in tents. Vancouver. Skyscrapers, busy streets, admir advertisements and signs illuminating this dystopian streets of the large city. Ads for optics show on the holographic boards. Okay, I wrote this. Yeah, this BFX. Okay, I like visual effects, but apparently I don't have the budget for it. So we're gonna have to figure that out. They pull over. Rose gets out of the car, waves at them. Yeah, this part has Okay. They pull over. Rose gets out of the car, waves at them, and starts walking. She arrives in front of the cafe. Before entering, she takes out a bottle of pills and takes a bubble. Takes a bubble. Yeah. Less frantic than the previous time, but she's no. As Rose enters the cafe, um, there's a man in the middle of ordering a wrap and uh, a cricket wrap. Cricket protein wrap. Thank you for the love. Um, and the barista's pronoun tag says they, them, wearing a hijab, takes the order. Um, barista, is that for here to go? To go, please. All right, that's twenty-two fifty. You can scan your chip here. The man brings his right hand up and hovers it over the payment scanner. The RFID chip is between the right thumb and index finger on the top side of the hand. Barista looks at the screen. Oh, you got a 10% discount. Ma'am. Oh, uh, what's that for? Oh, does he say great? I cut that out and said sweet and then cut that out again. No, great. Do you guys hear that sound? Do you guys hear the sound? Um, I believe crazy. Do you hear that? There's some weird sound in this house. Something's totally just off. There's no way that TV's that loud. Gonna be haunted. I have no clue. Anyways, I just watched Beetlejuice, so that that movie scares me. I don't. Every movie scares me. I don't do scary movies at all. Well, the sound's gone, so now we're good. Now it's fine. Okay, back to. I don't know what to say. Oh, grabs a wrap. Okay. Oh, RFID. Okay. Oh, you got a ten percent discount. Sweet. What's that for? Oh, people with over eight fifty RI get discounts here. The man nods his head. That's stellar. Thank you. I'm trying to make stellar cool in this. Stellar is like the phrase. I know it's lame, but that's just what I chose. I can change it. I'm trying to bring back stellar. <laughs> the man, even in like ads, it says it'll be. It's stay stellar. Mm. That's the phrase of the season or whatever. I don't know. Generation. The man grabs his wrap and leaves. Rose steps forward. Hi, how may I help you? That so fetch has already been used, bro. Hey, I'm meeting a friend. Can I just grab a table and wait for him? Sure, you just have to order first. Um, yeah, I'll have, I'll have just a tea. Peppermint, please. Stay solid. Solid. Mmm. Yeah. In a dystopian future. I'm gonna write down something. Solid. Clutch. 
No, Clutch was actually already like, I don't even think Stella was really that cool. Clutch. I want something that sounds, it's gotta sound more like sophisticated. It's like radiant, no. Something also like futuristic-y. Solid, dude. Um, okay, sounds good. That'll be 9.50. You can scan here. Rose reaches into her pocket and grabs some cash. Is it okay if I pay cash? Barista looks stunned at Rose. Um, we don't accept cash anymore. 